<laughs> All right. Hi, um, hi, Nosi. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, babe. It's super early here. And as you can see, I've got my morning puffy face. And I don't know why you look so good at that time of the night. Tell us where you are and what time it is. I mean, if you're saying super early, I'm just like, I'm in Toronto. It's like 3 19 a.m. And, you know, I'm the one who should be complaining, honestly. <laughs> it's yes. like 10 a.m. in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it should be. Okay, but it's raining here. And it's like, rain is such a beautiful lullaby. We should all be in bed, honestly. So why are you up at 3 in the morning looking that good, though? Oh, this is all for you, baby. <laughs> Just I promise you. <laughs> you. Okay, are you guys under lockdown? We are actually. We've been under lockdown for the past, I want to say on and off for the past year. But right now, we've been like on a full lockdown since um, early December. Full lockdown. How's that going? How are people taking it? It's hard on everyone because the only people who are allowed to be outside, honestly, are just like um, essential workers. If you're not an essential worker, you, you you have to stay home. Everything is closed. You're not allowed to go anywhere. Well, you can go to get your essential like, grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. But most of the grocery stores right now, they close at like 8 p.m. So people just have to stay home. 8 p.m. Oh, girl. And then the, the restaurant, yeah. what time do they close? Oh, we haven't had that in a long time. You know, Wait, we haven't the, eaten out in a long time. They, they the, have been, they've been closed for a while. They've been closed since last summer, actually, which is like um, last May. And at some point they opened, like summertime, I think mm -hmm. for like a month. But even then it was just like outside sitting, outdoor sitting, and only people from your household, which means if you live alone, you can meet up with your fr friend in a restaurant for over dinner or coffee or, or beer, whatever you name it. No, it was just like only people who live in your house. So yeah, how the restaurants have been closed for a while. So how are they gonna know that the people you're with live in your house or not? Depending at the place that you go to, like most of, like if you go like out of town, they usually ask. And some people who are noisy, they will ask for IDs, but which they're not allowed to, but I guess just people are just trying to stay safe. So they will do anything, you know, but yeah. So I also think that people haven't been lying about the things just because like cases here in Toronto have been like rising. So people are just like tired of being like indoors. They're so like over covered that they will do anything to stay safe. Like they won't lie about those things. Okay. Yeah. So what happens when they ask for your ID? You take your ID, what do they do with it? Do they scan it or check uh, what location you're from or what? So our IDs here have like our house, if you, your driver's license has like your house ad, ad address. So if I'm sitting with you at a restaurant, we don't live in the same house. It's obviously two different addresses, you know. Girl, that's a toughie. Yeah. Okay, so are people wearing masks? Are masks mandatory? What's, what, are the, what are the measures that are in place? Sanitizing, are there fines being issued? What's happening? Of course, masks are mandatory. They've been mandatory since um, last March. Um, sanitizers, um, everywhere you go to, there's a sanitizer. You go to a restaurant, you go to a random washroom, wherever you go to, the sanitizers everywhere. And I think people are also just like super cautious that carrying like sanitizers around. Um, yeah. And in terms of like a uh, mask and everything, you, you, like you literally can't even go to a gas station without a mask. Yeah. So you need a mask. Yeah, you need mm -hmm. a mask. If you go grocery shopping, if you don't have a mask, you, you, you can't go in. Okay. Is the recovery rate high there of the people that are getting infected? Are they recovering or what's, what's the deal? Are people dying? Most people are recovering, but I feel like here, most people who've been hit hard by COVID are like people who are like in um, long-term homes. Those oh, are the people so who are like literally, we have like high that rates in terms of like seniors, but okay. most people are recovering. And if you don't have like prior medical um, conditions, you're most likely to recover. Okay, that's cool. As, yeah. Okay. Uh, what home remedies are people taking? 
I think it depends. I mean, the African in me, you know, <laughs> is taking. <laughs> it just depends. I can't speak for everyone who lives in Toronto because must be it's a multicultural city. Yeah. But uh, the African in me takes the usual ginger, garlic, lemon, honey. I take my vitamin C, which I think everybody else is taking. And um, I drink a lot of like warm liquids. Yeah. I drink, I don't even drink, I love my coffee, you know that? I don't yeah. even drink coffee these days. I just drink like my mint tea. You Ooh, know. girl. Oh, but it's winter. Yeah. <laughs> so like you are deep in the warm drinks anyway. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, is the vaccine being rolled out over there yet? Or what's what's happening with the vaccine? It was rolled out last month. So people who were supposed to get it, it was seniors and then frontline workers. So for frontline workers, we had to like, as you know, that I'm part of like the frontline workers, yeah. we had to register for it to get it. Um, a couple of people registered, me included. Unfortunately, we can't, like, I guess a lot of people registered. A lot of people wanted to take it. So right now they ran out. We Damn. can't take it right now. Yeah, for sure. So we're hoping we're going to get it again okay. sometime soon. I had it could be sometime in March, but I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to be sometime soon because... Is it being imported? It is, yeah. What? I think they, they they actually order it from somewhere, so yeah. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, you're, yeah. you're cool to get it? You're just like, give me the shot. It's all good? To me, it's more like taking a flu shot, honestly. Like every winter, we take a flu shot. Most people here in Toronto take a flu shot. So it's more just like, Another even if you shot. take a flu shot, sometimes you still get flu. Yeah, you know what true. I mean? So that's that's what it is to me. It's like I'm taking it, but me taking it doesn't mean that I'm not going to get COVID. And as someone who works in like frontline, I can tell you that I'm tired of quarantining because, you know, my coworkers tested positive. I'm tired yeah. of like opening my emails every day and it's like, oh, we have an outbreak at work or we have this or, yeah. you know, what's gonna th- I'm, I'm just like, I'm so over it. Mm-hmm. That if I can do something, if I can take the vaccine, I believe the vaccine can help us. So I'm just going to take the vaccine. <laughs> I get you, girl. I think we're all tired right now. Honestly, we're just at the point where we're like, next, can we have the next thing? Like, Corona, you've had your time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So what's been the biggest change, uh, COVID, during COVID that you've enjoyed about, okay, we're in this phase of life? <laughs> enjoyed <laughs> yes yes i want to say at the beginning i was super excited about working from home because um i was working for i'm working from home for the most part yeah and i only go to the office like what once a week mm-hmm. so at the beginning i was like super excited about working from home i was like oh my god i'm finally gonna be home you know i'm so busy i'm always in the office i'm always out on the road doing this and that but Right. I think after some time, I was just like, not even after some time, like literally after a month, I was just like so over working from home. I was like, I want, mm-hmm. yeah, I was. I was like, I want to go back to work. I miss my I clients. Don't think I'll I ever get this. over it. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're enjoying it, you know, like for the work that I do, I want, yeah, I don't want to be on the phone with you all the time. I, <laughs> I want to see you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So what have you not enjoyed about um COVID? Not dressing up for work. You know, even when I show up to work, I have um I do. It's funny. Uh, I get it's it. Funny. I get it. Even when I show up for, even when I show up for work, I'll send you a picture and you're allowed to post it somewhere here. Oh please. Even when I show up, yeah, for sure. Even when I show up for work, I have to wear this nice jumpsuit you know right so you go <laughs> I have to be all time. covered up <laughs> so I don't like that at all oh. I do not like that at all oh wait you're saying yeah. you have to wear like a, a hazmat suit for full like- full PPE yep girl you have to wear full PPE girl yep. so yeah Okay, yeah. so you miss your clothes. Listen, I, I totally understand. Any time that I'm brave enough to go out and work at a restaurant or meet a friend for coffee in a place that's not busy, girl, I pull up my heels at the back of the wardrobe. I pull out my earrings. I pull out my I pants. <laughs> like, yo, 
my clothes miss me too so I get it I get it of course I also just miss like hanging out with my friends I miss seeing people I miss having people over at my house I usually host like on Thanksgiving and Christmas I didn't get to do that last year I miss all those things yeah I miss that (laughs) y'all need to taste this girl's food oh oh (laughs) I can't believe you didn't get to cook. I'm sure people were calling you being like, no. thing is captain, you know. Yeah, people were like, you know, you can do uh, takeaways for people. We can come pick them up. I'm like, no. The like, I only cook because together. I just enjoy the company, you know. I want everyone to come over to my place. We'll sit down. It's Thanksgiving. We'll talk about the year, you know. Exactly. Tell me about this travel thing. What happens when you travel? So before people were allowed to quarantine in their own houses and um, they, you just have to um, register with this app called Arrive Can. Okay. I guess they send you like this questionnaire every morning. You just fill out just like basic like um, questions like do you have like symptoms? Yes. How are you feeling because you were out of the country and all that. But okay, now... Cool. This um, is for international travel only. It's not for people who are traveling interprovincially in the country. For, any travel for everyone okay any any travel yeah okay. but right now they just rolled out like a new um thing that if you travel when you come back you can't even quarantine in your own house anymore i think you have to pay about two thousand and then they have like this hotel where you have to quarantine for 14 days i guess they're just like discouraging people from traveling which mm. it kind of like makes sense in a way but at the same time i understand where people are coming from because if you're used to traveling if you don't have family in Toronto, you want to go see your family. I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like, you don't want to be here by yourself, depressed. You just want to spend time with your family and then come back, deal with whatever you want to deal with. But mm. them implementing that is just like a slap on the face. Like, stay home, you know. We don't care about your families who are like, whatever. Just stay home. Yeah, Yeah. no, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. for sure. If you get stopped by cops, they are after certain hours, they're allowed to ask for ID and then proof that you're an essential worker. So if you are not an essential worker, people just stay home. They just stay home because they don't want to get in trouble. They don't want the fines. And uh, right now, you're not allowed to have more than 10 people in your house. And if you do, you get fined up to $10,000. Sorry, what? So people. 10, you get, if you have more than 10 people in your house, yeah, $10,000. That's the minimum, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but right now everyone is just indoors, trying to stay safe. You know, everybody's so over this pandemic. The only thing we can do is just work together, stay home. Mm. All right. Don't go anywhere if you don't have to. Yeah. Y'all heard it from her. Behave yourselves. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Thanks, <Yeah>. babe. <laughs> Let me stop recording.